Hi, folks. Um, I get lots of requests for um, Stratomatic Hockey, especially on the penalty portion. So I thought I would um, play the third period of Boston and Florida. This is game three of the best of seven series. I'm just replaying it. Uh, going into the third period, it is tied 2-2. As you can see from the shots on goal, Boston's really dominating. They've had 28 shots, nine goalie ratings. Florida's just had 11 shots and three goalie ratings. So it's been all Boston to this point. Here's the scoring up to now. Tichuk opened up the scoring for uh, Florida on an inside goalie rating. Pasternak then on a breakaway goalie rating scored. Then Charlie Coyle gave the Bruins a 2-1 lead. And then on the last card of the second period, uh, Lomberg, um it was a, a rebound, um, sorry, an outside shot, one to nineteen, and uh, the Florida Panthers had tied the game up. So I think I'll zoom in and just go through the third period, try to explain the game as we go. Hopefully, have some penalties so I can explain to people how to do penalties. Um, now, when I play, sometimes I use the split action cards for the faceoffs. Most of the time, I'll use a dice just to save my action cards so I don't have to reshuffle. And let's get going on the third period. I also play, the third period is a little bit different. For my forwards, I play one, two, three, four. So it'll be eight cards, eight cards, seven, and seven. For my demon, I play line one, one, two, three. I try and get realistic um, ice times. Again, be eight cards, eight cards, seven, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four in the second period, and one, two, two, and three for my D-men. The third period, I just go three, two, one. So that's why you're not going to see the fourth line in this third period. Um, they probably average about 10 minutes a game, so I think that's what they have with the cards. All right, so let's get going. From the face-off, Coyle's a plus two, Landell is a plus one. And the face-off is a nine, so plus one, nine, is going to go to the superior left defenseman. So puck gets picked up by Orloff. Boston's playing a 2-2. So is Florida. Uh, so 2-2 two is going to be loose puck. Outside shot only for right D. So outside shot for Montour. And it's a 7. It's going to be a save over to the right winger. So puck goes over to Frederick. And here come the Bruins. It's going to be opponent defense nine. Opponent defense nine is going to be takes puck away. Outside shot only for Cousins. Cousins is going to shoot. It's an eight. It's a rebound. And rebound comes out. Offensive center if he's a three. Landell is a four. So he will take the rebound. It's a seven save over to the center. So big chance there for the Florida Panthers early. They don't get anything. Charlie Coyle's got the puck. Opponent defense 10. This is going to be a penalty. So Anton Lindell is going to the penalty box for Florida. And that is going to be power play opportunity number three for the Boston Bruins. Now, the way I do penalties is I use the board game way. I'll flip out so you can see the uh, penalty kill. And that is the first two power plays go to the top unit and then it alternate. So if it's power play number three, it is going to go to the second unit for the Boston Bruins. So we're going to put out, we'll put out Kredge on the point with Orloff. We'll have Coyle in the middle, uh, Taylor Hall or Bert actually maybe Taylor Hall will put on the point. They both have stars. Maybe we'll go with that alignment for the Boston Bruins. None of these guys are on the top unit. To kill it for Florida, it would have to be their second unit, which would be Forsling and Ekblad. So I use Gudas and Stahl. And to kill the penalty, we had Barkoff and Lundell. So we're looking for somebody else here. Tachuk intimidates at a 10. Probably got to put him out there. I don't see any threes for Florida defensively, so I want a center that can win the draw. Maybe we'll go with Sam Bennett. Not a strong penalty kill here for 
Florida. And here we go from the face off. Uh, take my action deck, count off three cards, put in my end of penalty. And here we go from the face off. From the draw, we have a 17, and it's going to be Charlie Coyle's a plus two. Bennett is a plus one. So you add three to the face-off team, so the Bruins will be a plus four, but not good on a 17. It is going to be inferior right D. So Florida wins the draw, so that will automatically go to a four. Ekblad's got it. He's going to ice it. And Puck, ice shorthand right D if he's a 12. So one, two, three, four, five. One for the card, four for the icing. And I flip an action card because it crossed seven. You'll flip a card at seven, 13, and 19. And Ekblad has the puck again. He's going to ice it. Puck iced. So one, two, three, four, five. And power play team outside shot only for right winger. So Frederick on the outside is going to get a shot. It's a nine save over to the right winger. So Frederick lets one go. Tachuk picks it up. He's going to ice it. Puck ice. Short-handed left defense is a 12. It is going to go to Forsling. One, two, three, four, five. That is going to be the end of the penalty. So the Florida Panthers kill the penalty. Boston not really getting a lot of stuff done there. And Ekblad and Forsling need to go off. Tachuk and Sam Bennett need to go off. Lundell comes back out. We're still playing two on two. Here we go. Mahura's got the puck. Mahura's a former Regina Pat. Team that I scouted for for 13 years. Uh, opponent defense, nine. So Clifton's going to take the puck away. Outside shot for Clifton. He's going to shoot. It's a four. Lose it over to the right winger. Duclair picks it up. Opponent defense, 10. And opponent defense, 10 for Boston is going to be a penalty to Tyler Bertuzzi. So Florida is going on the power play. So Bertuzzi will pick up the two minutes. He was a pick up at the trade deadline and that will mean the good power play. This is the fourth power play of the game. Bertuzzi's second penalty and it means the top penalty, the power play unit is coming out on the ice for Florida. It's their fourth chance. Uh, we'll send out Bergeron and Marchand to kill it, along with McAvoy and Lindholm for Florida B2. Chuk, Barkoff, Sam Bennett is going to come out, along with, I think we're going to have Montour and Ekblad coming out. So here we go. We're going to reset that, put this to three, and set the penalty and here we go we got Barkoff against Bergeron they're both plus three so plus three on the face off it's a five it's going to go to the superior left defense so puck goes over to Montour and uh, Montour picks it up and he can pass shoot or make a play he's going to make a pass so Montour is going to make a pass and Again, shorthanded, inside shot for any player, intimidate well, with the opposition. Now, this has got to go to either Reinhardt or Ekblad. They haven't had a shot yet. So you keep, you got to rotate your inside shots. You can see Barkov, Tachuk, and Bennett have each had one. So this one will go to Reinhardt and intimidate with Marchand he's just a one it's a five he doesn't do it so there's the the sorry the pass is there here's the shot by Bennett sorry I got Bennett out there that should be Reinhardt shot by Reinhardt is a four save over the center so Reinhardt lets the shot go puck save puck is loose it's going to be a loose puck and power play team shorthanded. Any player has control. So the Bruins have it. We're going to give it to Bergeron. He is going to, I think they're just going to ice it. Let's just get rid of it. I know he can skate 1 to 14, but let's whittle this down a little bit. He's going to ice it. Shorthand left defense of 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And flip a card. Lindholm is going to ice it. Puck iced. Outside shot only for the left winger. So one, two, three, four, five. We got to flip another card. And outside shot only for Tachuk. 
Uh, a nine is a save over to the right winger. So Tuchuk gets the shot in, just gonna mark it down. Bergeron picks it up. Now I think we're gonna ice, one to 14 with Bergeron. And oh my gosh, we roll a 19. So it's we do one for the uh, um, skate and it's gonna be an outside shot for Tuchuk. He is gonna deke one to 13. Um, yeah, he's, he's going to deke. Actually, I think it's supposed to be, yeah, no, well, yeah, will lose to the opponent when he skates. Uh, he's going to deke one to 13. Tuchuk does it. Number 11 kicked away over to the left D and Lindholm's got it. He's just simply going to ice it. He does puck ice, short head and right D gets control. That is going to be the end of the penalty. We flip the third card and the Boston Bruins avoid a power play goal against the flow of play here. We got to change the line. So here comes the second line for Boston. We have Taylor Hall playing with Kredge and Pasternak. Maybe I'll put that on, oops, on a little bit um, bigger video for everybody. So puck goes there and we'll get rid of Reinhardt, Barkoff and Tuchuk. And we will bring out Reinhardt, Bennett, and Lusteranen. And coming out for Florida, we'll take off Montour and Mahura and bring out Stahl and Gouda. So Boston is going to play a 3-2. And Florida... Florida has been playing a 2-1, and they, they had a 1-0 lead, and they lost it. They're going to go 2-2. So Bruins have the puck. And they're playing a 3-2. So 3-2, opponent defense 7. Uh, Stahl takes it away. He's going to shoot. Save big rebound. Now I can deflect it or go for the rebound. Um, I think I'll go for the deflection. Got a lot of 3s and 4s on defense. So we're going to deflect it to number 1, which is going to be the left winger. So Lewis Dorinen going for the deflection. He doesn't get it. Now, the only negative for a deflection is you can give the puck to anybody you want for Boston. Sometimes if you got ones on, it can be devastating. Uh, I want Pasternak to be the shooter, so we're going to give it to Hall. What I do when I pick is I look for the lowest defense. So three and fours are sort of out of it. So I'll go to these guys. They're all twos. Um, then I go to penalties. So... Maybe I will give it to Kreji. Yeah, because Bennett does take penalties. So kreji has got the puck. We're playing three on two. Um, lose puck, possible breakaway. Uh, breakaway to the left D. So Mark Stahl has a breakaway. He's going to shoot number 11. Oh, goal one to 15. He scores. Oh, my gosh. Mark Stahl, how many times does he ever get breakaways? Breakaway 1-15, to 15, Florida takes a 3-2 lead. Oh, man. Uh, four assists. You just go here. Lefty, he scored. Left wing is a 4. Lewis Durant is not. Center is a 1. Bennett will get the assist. Right D is a 5. He's not. Right D, a 2. Right wing a 2. Reinhardt is. So Bennett and Reinhardt will get assists. And the Florida Panthers take a 3-2 lead. Man, I did not think they would win a game in this series. And they're up. So Reinhardt and Bennett is going to get it. Uh, we'll give them all a plus. So that still means the line is now even against uh, this line. Boy, what a goal. So time of the goal would be... Uh, there's 15 cards, so it's scored at 13 cards. You take your last two action cards and you add them up, so that's 11. And so you just go to your timer chart. So what did I say? 13 cards, it'd be 8 minutes and add an 11. So it'd be 8-11 of the third period. Florida takes a 3-2 lead. Um, I think I'm just going to keep them at two four checkers for right now. From the face-off, number 13, we're all even. Puck goes over the left winger. Hall's got it. It's going to be three on two. Loose puck inside shot for any player. Uh, this time it's got to go to, let's see, Bennett's had a shot. Reinhardt's had a shot. Those are the only two. 
So anybody we want, we'll go back to Sam Reinhardt, intimidate with Taylor Hall. He's going to take it away, possible penalty, and a two is not going to get it. He is a D, so a penalty would have been anything higher than 15. So 16 to 20 would have been a penalty for Hall. And the way you do that is you just take a look at your penalty chart. Sorry about the glare. So on Ds, 1 to 15 is no penalty. See, going across. And anything below there would be an intimidation penalty. The higher the rating, AAAA, the better the chance of a penalty. So Hall picks it up. It is three on two. Uh, opponent defense, eight. Reinhardt takes it away. Outside shot. It's a three save over to the left winger. Puck goes over to Hall. We are at the 10-minute mark of the period. And three on two. Loose puck. Inside shot for any player. Florida really starting to get in on the four check. This has got to go to Sam Bennett. And intimidate with Kredge. One to two. He's not going to do it. Sam Bennett looking to give him a two-goal lead. Shoots at number six. It's a goalie rating. Sam Bennett is going to fire on Allmark. Here's Allmark's card. Don't want to roll a six. We roll a four, so it's a save face-off. The face-off is an 18. Um, I roll the 20 set of die with these. And visitor right winger Pasternak picks it up. Here come the Bruins. Passing B. This is going to be inside shot for center. Intimidate with Stahl. Stahl will, one to nine, takes puck away, possible penalty. He is a D. So again, 16 and higher is a penalty. It's a seven. He'll take it away. Nothing going on there. Here comes Florida. Two on two. Outside shot for the left winger. Taylor Hall is going to shoot from the outside. Number 11, save over to any player they want. So give Hall the shot. That's only the second shot for the Bruins this period after dominating the first two. Uh, anybody they want gets it. So we've got three and a four and a three. These are my two twos. They're both there. Uh, let's give it to Sam Bennett. So Bennett picks it up, brings it back two on two, and it is going to be a penalty. Opponent defense 11. Let's see if anybody else goes with them. Uh, I'm pulling 11 on the action card, so it is going to be two minutes to Kredge, and that is it. So Kredge is picking up a penalty for Boston. Fifth power play opportunity for uh, Florida, so that means good, bad, good. This will be the bad power play for the Florida Panthers, and the bad penalty kill will leave Carlo and Grzelik out there. Uh, we'll have Pasternak come out, and he will play with Charlie Coyle on the PK for Florida, their number one unit. We're going to bring out Verhage, Sam Bennett, and... Duclair, Lundell's got a point. He will come out on the point. Stahl will come out. They're going to go with five forwards. I don't know if they do that in real life with a 3-2 lead in the third period. Probably not, but if they get that goal, they could put this game away. Uh, we're going to set three cards for the penalty. Here comes the faceoff. From the draw, it's a seven, and we've got plus one, plus two. So add three to Bennett, he'd be a four. So it's a plus two off the face off. And maybe I'll back it up for the PK so you guys can see. There we go. And so seven plus two is going to be superior left winger. So Verhage picks it up, he's got it, he's going to skate one to 13 for a shot and it's a three he does steps right in number five it's a goalie rating where Hagee steps right in he's going to shoot on Allmark there is Allmark's card six is bad news he's going to shoot number five save face off so face off in Allmark's hand we roll a one home left defense picks it up so Lundell's got it gotta go one for the face off and Lundell is going to, well, he's a four, so I guess he got to deke one to 13. He is going to deke, and it's a 17, so he doesn't do it. Carlo's going to ice it. And puck, ice, shorthand, right defense, a 13. One, two, three, four, five, and we will give it over to Pasternak. He's going to ice it. 
Puck ice, shorthanded left defense of 14. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to flip a card. Puck goes over to Grizzly. He is a four, and he is going to ice it. Puck ice, shorthanded left defense of 13. One, two, three, four, five. He will. That will be it. the end of the penalty. Plus, we got to change the lines. So we're down to the last seven minutes of the hockey game. Coyle is going to go off. Paul Pasternak and Kredge go off. Marchand, Bergeron, and DeBrusque coming out for Florida. Bennett uh, Duclair is going to go off. Um, so we're going to bring out the top line. That's going to be Verhage coming out with Tachuk and Barkov. And Mark Stahl will go off. It'll be Forsling and Ekblad now. I think I'm just going to play a 2-1. Bruins going to play a 3-2. And how many? Yeah, we're, we'll go into a one defense a little bit later on. So the Bruins have the puck. They're down 3-2. Here comes Lindholm. Three against. We only got one four checker. Opponent defense four. Takes away puck is outside shot. Ekblad's going to pass. Inside shot for any player. So we'll put this back on Zoom. Uh, inside shot for any player. It has to go to Verhage. He hasn't had the uh, shot yet where you're rotating. So inside to Verhage, number two, save over to the left winger. Puck goes over to Brad Marchand. And here come the Bruins, three on one. Opponent defense, 10. Uh, this is Matthew Tichuk losing his temper. He's going to go to the box. He's a B. Marchand is a B. We rolled a five. So that is two minutes to Chichuk. So Boston is going to go in the power play late in the hockey game. Their number one unit is coming out on the ice. As Tichuk is going to take a penalty with four minutes to go in this hockey game. Ooh, that was bad, bad timing. Coming out for the Bruins. We're going to have, um, I think we're going to go McC McAvoy or Orloff. Orloff's got a pretty good little shooting card here. Uh, I think we're going to go with... Uh, we'll go with Charlie McAvoy. He's the big star. We're going to leave him out there. Uh, so there's the Bruins power play. We're going to have Barkoff coming out with Lundell. And Mark Stahl and Gudis coming out to kill it for the Florida Panthers. From the faceoff. It's a 10. We're going to zoom back out for the penalty kill. And... The face-off is going to be a plus three. So 10 plus three, superior right defense. Uh, McAvoy's got it. He's going to make a pass. And pass is inside shot for right wing. Intimidate with the left D. Inside to Nebraska. Stall will, so that will move one card. One to nine. It's a 13. So Nebraska has an inside shot. It is a two. Save over to any player they want. So Puck is going to go to Barkoff. He's just going to ice it. He does. Short-handed right winger gets it. So one, two, three, four, five. Puck goes over to Barkoff. One for the card, four for icing. And Barkoff will ice it again. He does. Puck iced outside shot only for the left winger. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to flip a card. Outside shot only for Brad Marchand. He's going to shoot number 10. Save over the right D. Marchand cannot do it. Gudis picks it up. He is going to ice it. Puck iced outside shot only for left D. One, two, three, four, five. Outside shot for Pasternak. Dangerous player. Number three kicked away over to the center. So Puck is here. We got a loose Puck. Power play. Recovered by short-handed team. Right winger has control. Barkov's got it. We're right on 19, so the penalty is over. We're going to end the penalty. Pasternak goes off. And the Florida Panthers are the huge kill. And so Barkov had the puck. I'll carry it over with Barkov. You can leave it with the right winger. I think you're probably supposed to do it. But since Barkoff is on, I'm going to let him take it over. Um, so now Florida is going to go to a 1-0. And I'll zoom in. They'll go to a 1-0. we got three cards left. I'm not going to pull the goalie yet for Boston. 
Now, um, I was in the Gordie Howe League, and they have a rule in the last three cards you can put anybody you want out. Uh, that's not a Stratomatic rule, but it is a rule I'm going to use for this right now. Um, so we're going to put out Pasternak for DeBrusque. We're not, we are going to go three four checkers and not going to pull a goalie quite yet. We'll do it when we get control of the puck. Uh, for Florida, I think we're going to throw out Anton Lundell. And we're going to leave the demon as is, I believe. Yeah, a little better penalty killer. So here we go. One on three, passing G. Outside shot for Tachuk. Tachuk's got it. Four against the five, not very good. He can shoot or pass. I think he's going to send it in the middle. He's going to try and make a pass. Uh, passing against even inside shot for right wing center. So if the right wing has the puck, it goes to the center. So inside shot for Barkov. Good thing I left Olmark in. Barkov's going to shoot number five. It is a goalie rating. This could end the hockey game, folks. Barkov on Allmark. There's Allmark's card. We don't want to be rolling a six if you're a Bruins fan. Uh, we roll the three. Save either demon, pick it up. So puck goes over. We're going to give it to Lindholm simply because Ekblad is a three. So we want to work against a little better defense. Actually, it won't matter because they're going to pull a power play card. Uh, we are going to pull the goalie and... That extra man is going to be DeBrusque, so I just put it over top of the goalie. So DeBrusque is coming out, three on three. Now, when you pull the goalie, you read the power play section, but you don't use the power play stars. Um, you can see here Bergeron's got a star. You only use that whenever it's a power play. Uh, we read the power play section, but they're, they're not on the power play. They just pulled their goalie. So here come the Bruins. They pulled their goalie. And it says, inside shot for left D, intimidate with the right wing. Now, Lindholm has it, so it's going to be inside shot for the right D, intimidate with Lundell. So Lundell is going to intimidate one to three. It's an 11. He's not going to do it. Inside shot for Charlie McAvoy. Try and tie this up. Number nine. Oh, it is a goalie rating. Charlie McAvoy is going to shoot. Goalie rating of Barboski. Can he save the game for the Florida's like real life? Here is Barboski's card. So we're going to score on a six and a seven and a three. There's the shot. It's an eight. Save either defenseman picks it up. They're going to give it to Ekblad simply because, actually, no, we'll give it to Forsling because when I look at the shooter's cards for these two guys, they're the same, a little bit better for Lindholm. So Florida is going to give it to Forsling. Last play, it's one against a three. One, three, loose puck, outside shot only. Outside shot for Lindholm. Could tie the game, it's a 12. Oh, those are usually goal ratings on D cards. It's a save over to the center. They're not going to get it. Lindholm lets the shot go. That is the end of the hockey game, folks. Holy smokes, the Florida Panthers take a two to one series lead. If we just clean up the stats, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots for Boston. One goalie rating. Final score, three, two. Florida now leads it. Florida had a good third period. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 shots on net. And they had one, two, three goalie ratings. So they had a total of five, six goal ratings for the game for Boston and 10 goal ratings for uh, the Boston Bruins. Man, look at this, 28, 35 shots by Boston. And Florida only had 23. So all marked plays 58 minutes, 23 shots, 20 saves, three goals against Six goalie readings, and how many went in? One, oh, he's, he only let in one, so he stopped five of six. It's pretty good. Uh, Braboski would play 60 minutes, 33 saves, sorry, 35 shots, 33 saves, two goals against. He had 10 goalie readings. Boston scored on two of them. He was eight for 10. So our three stars for tonight's game, um, I guess you got to give it to Bobrovsky. He saved it. 
late at the end there for the Bruins, for the um, Panthers. Mark Stahl, who's on the PK, gets a game-winning goal. He will get the second star. And for Boston, I think we got to give it to David Pasternak. Four shots on net. He had three goal ratings. He did have a goal, game-winning goal by Mark Stahl. So the Florida Panthers are now up two games to one in the series against the Boston Bruins. Hopefully that helps you guys out with the power play. Uh, Stratomatic Hockey with the 2022-23 cards.